Hello and welcome to the Mapping Channel. Uh, I am back from a long break, but I'm feeling inspired and motivated to get back on working on this map. Last time I left off, I had a working layout and was ready to start playtesting it. So this time I started off by scheduling a playtest on the Map Inc. server. So here's a couple of clips from the playtest we did. It's not all joint team. Or maybe we'll laugh. We I don't know, it. someone Get join team, please. Here. Yes, no, uh, no. Okay, well, fucking. Okay. Peace, okay. Jim. Alright, let's go to the voice shit. Yeah. <coughs> okay, so CTs let's go to CT and Peace to you. Peace to the Virgin Minis chat. We're not Virgin Minis, I'm changing the name, we're God. Terrible Cox. I'm excited for this playlist. Someone go lurk me. I saw a car today with fucking Amogus on it. Only <laughs> video. Yeah, yeah. And the window to city angle is kinda too strong. Which you have to do to one person. Yeah, no, no. Just play time. No. Nope. <laughs> Fucking outplay, Geo. What the fuck? <laughs> We're in crazy mode. I, I just love how fucking Mr. Skinny Penis the whole like map is. It's it's not as wide as my maps tend to be. Mr. Skinny Penis. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Oh, he's in the game. He's in the game. Exactly. He's... No way. He's actually in the game. Don't, don't, no, don't go. Let's just hold, just hold, just hold, don't even peek him. Team! Coin decoy. He's so fucking competitive. We are gonna, we're gonna lose the major because of you. 3, 2, 1. I have actually no idea how it's called. Not the cock biologist, you know. Take it, take it. I'm working on it. Well, we did the playtest and tested the map, and I think it was pretty fun. If you're interested to join future playtests, make sure to join the Discord. Now, this is currently after the playtest, so I've already tested it, and I have compiled all of the feedback I got from all the people into a notebook. And I have a bunch of, bunch of feedback from all the areas. It seemed like the layout worked in terms of all the lanes and rotates and timings and all that but but it seemed like where I still needed to do some work was all the specific angles and areas. Alright so I've gathered all of the feedback we've gotten for each area into my notebook and I think we can just go through each area and what I got for it as feedback and then show you the changes I've done after that.
So here we are in middle and first we'll set is to widen this catwalk here or this stairs and this catwalk here so you have more space to play around and also to make these not as deep so something like this as this angle was kind of annoying to play uh, with it, like this being a headshot angle and all it was not that fun to play so we did a bit of tweaking on that next up there was complaints about this angle right here let me actually show you i'm going to add a bot onto the terrorist team it's gonna be our assistant uh, bot bill so if you go here into the cellar and watch this angle with an op you actually see only half of their bodies now you'd think this is good for the t's because it's like more cover here but it's actually good for the ct's as when you're playing from here like Bill was, you can only really see the CT's head. So what I wanted to do is get this ramp and kind of push it a bit here, so it's, there's not this not, not this annoying headshot angle that there is currently. Then for the top mid, we had a couple of stuff. First of all, this pallet here was terrible. You jump into here and you already have to fight people from this angle and it's just terrible and when you jump jump onto this little terrorist catwalk here you're exposing yourself to all these players uh, while midair jumping like this and also I'm gonna add something here uh, to get better there I think so here we are in the new mid <laughs> so <laughs> as you can see I got a bit of out of hand with the detailing I also widened widened the catwalk here of these stairs and widened the catwalk itself. I also added this door here to the bar so it's a bit more you know fun to peek this angle and also this door here works as a blocker for annoying angles like this where you had a sight line from here all the way here. I added these barrels here for cover I guess to the CT for the CT player so you can play more around this I guess and have like cover here. I added these hay bales so the going into the window is not as hard it's just walking up and also added this crate here so you can more easily get up here. Then the last thing I did here is uh, instead of the pallet that used to be here I added a ladder uh, and then you can make this angle like this. Alright, we are now moving on to A site. A site seemed to be the more problematic bomb site of the two. The main problem of the site is that it's really hard to take and really hard to retake. Let me show you what I mean. If you come here as terrorist, you need to first clear this angle, clear this angle, then clear this angle, because those two angles are kind of next to each other, clear this angle, uh, then come out here and clear this angle, clear this angle and then you get onto the site but all of those angles you need to clear with pretty much no cover so I want to make all the angles clearer here and probably give uh, terrorists a bit more cover now next is the retaking problem that we have taking the site is hard but it's even more hard and difficult to retake the site that is because uh, when you are actually have taken control of the site you, you can hold all of these areas from all these catwalks and high up areas here that you, you just have cover all the way through. Uh, and that's why I don't want to just have one route. I am going to have another one right here that somehow connects onto here on the CD spawn. And another thing I want to do is just uh, nerf all the holding areas of the site. So I'm going to make this tighter and shorter, probably going to remove that box, that was unnecessary. Uh, oh, and also I'm going to add uh, something here, so the skill jump isn't as hard. Currently, if you want to get up there or into short, you need to run all the way back from here if you can't do the skill jump, and this just takes hours to do. I also want to make this stairs area a lot more simple. This wall is too high, so I'm going to make that lower probably 
Uh, I'm gonna remove this annoying bump here, and they're probably gonna do something with these stairs to make them more, more simple. Alright, here we are at the reworked A site. As you can see, I added this route that connects back to CT spawn, and then did a bunch of stuff on the site itself. So, first off, starting with this staircase, I cleared the little bump there, and instead of having the stairs go up like this, I added them coming from way back here. Added cover here so you wouldn't have an annoying headshot angle. Now the tower has been uh, simplified a bit. This barrel has been added here to an annoying uh, camping spot. This hallway has been made a lot tighter and also shorter. This wall bank spot has been added here. This uh, castle hallway used to be up until here, so like a 45 degree angle here, so I just shortened that so you can't camp there as much. I added this box, uh, box and uh, plank here, so you can jump up here easily. I added this wall bank, which just buys up this area. And now here's the big thing. I blocked this area completely, and we'll see how it works, but this should make it so that when you come from short, it is a lot more safe to be all the angles here. You don't have worry about a guy being there. Now, next up on the chopping block is the B side. The B side of the map uh, doesn't really need work on the approaching routes that much as, as it needs on the actual site itself. The site feels small, the planting areas feels weird, you only really have one safe plant and every other place is exposed from that spot. Um, it feels really cramped and small and many uh, people have uh, suggested another route to get onto the site and I'm thinking of making a route uh, from this back site somehow connected to here or maybe even going back to here and that's mainly it there's only then just a couple of clipping issues here that I need to fix and yeah I think th that should be it all right here we are on the updated B site you can see I added added this new route I was talking about here goes into the site kind of here and then on to the back site I also widened this area so you have more area to attack uh, I added this thing here so you don't have an annoying angle from the window there hmm, what else oh yeah I detailed the entire bomb site so what I did is I widened the entire bomb site in both directions this ways and this ways as well so this is kind of going deeper into here, so you have a bit more space to play around. This is then, of course, also shorter. That's not as long as last time. It used to be from here all the way here. That was too long, in my opinion. Uh, I added this tree you can bounce stuff off of. It's really fun. You can have like cool flashes going onto the side like this. Uh, and then the site itself is kind of this mausoleum type beat I thought of. You can kind of see how it resembles the old site, but really I just made a new one out of scratch entirely. So yeah, the site has been completely reworked and basically just built up from scratch. This cubby is also added here so you can better defend this area. Yeah, it's been a big update on B site. Alright, now the last area I want to work on is the terrorist spawn and the terrorist roots. Uh, I do not like this angle being so long, especially when you can watch it from here. This is just annoying, uh, there's no reason for it to be this long and this is really boring to run. There you go, that was like 3 seconds of your life wasted. So yeah, this area, all of this is gonna be made more interesting. And this area is gonna have something done to it to give better options for the T's kind of to attack long. Also, I think I might do something here. All right, I think that is something done. So yeah, I, I, I decorated this a bit, just added a, added a new route going into B site and all this, just kind of running across here and you get to B site 
All, all joking aside, <laughs> I, I decided to add this path because originally uh, I thought to add this in the first version, but then was told not to do it. But I kind of wanted to add it and add more spice to this port area by actually having something here. And I found this really cool reference pick you can see on the screen right now with this clock tower on the port, and I kind of wanted to use that, so I added this route here. So I first designed it on the paper, you can see a picture of it here, also designed this area on paper, you can see that there. Then for this connecting park I decided to do a bit of a boat workshop, so there's a boat and it's being worked on, there's blueprints of ancient and a mug. So yeah, this is some, this is a cool route looks wise at least, and it gives another way for the terrorist to attack the site. Now I also did something on this side of the T-spawn, as you can see, it goes up here, instead of going right there, it goes up here, and then turns right here, into the long area of a site. So you can play this, and play against this angle, uh, but yeah, then you can attack the site from here, and as you can see, this area still does exist, but it's a sewer. And it doesn't connect anymore to here. It connects straight into into the fountain area. Right here. So there's two ways to go to A. Kind of the long route and the short route. Except they're not called long and short. Because this one's called uh, sewers. And the other one doesn't really have a name. And then this one's called long. And then, and then this one's called short. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit complicated, <laughs> but yeah, that's basically it. So these routes are completely built from scratch, and a lot of changes have been made from them. They are a bit experimental, so we'll see how it goes. But I really like how these routes look, and that is all the changes that I've made at the moment. I'm recording this video. I have already tested the map once uh, on the server, but we'll be doing another test with a few. Uh, small changes. Uh, in the first test it seemed like some of the more experimental stuff I did didn't quite work as I planned, uh, but I'll be tweaking those. In the next episode I will be still doing some layout changes and tweaking stuff, but I will be already focusing more on detailing the map, uh, as it seems to work quite fine, all the areas seem to work okay. Uh, but I, I think with a few tweaks we're gonna get this map into a state where it's really fun to play and if that is the case after the next playtest uh, if it is fun I'm going to move on to detailing and then we'll get closer to the release of the map alright so that is it for this episode subscribe to the channel uh, like the video and join the discord and uh, I'll see you guys next time